All right, recapping round one for Perth Tech Power Minerals against the New Zealand Warriors. I thought we had a great game. Um, we withstood a fair bit of pressure early on from the Warriors, a few mistakes from us uh, getting out of our own, and a lot of mistakes, a lot of handling errors. Uh, we, I think we didn't complete at least our, our first four or five sets coming off our own end. So it was a good turnaround from the boys. They were determined, they hung in there, and, uh, and they broke the back of the Warriors. Um, Chrissy Sando, very good performance from him, looks fit. Um, looks in the best nick I've seen him actually for a long, long time. Uh, quick, and he was just reading the play very well. He caught the New Zealand forwards out a lot of the time, stepping off his right foot back on the inside. So hopefully Chrissy will continue that form. Hainsey, uh, the Hain plane is back, and isn't it good to see? He scored a few, couple of tries that night, um, and let's hope that continues. And also too, I'd like to give Darcy Lassig a fair rap. Um, one of our new imports from, from Manly came into, the, came into the side this year. I thought he had a very good game starting in the front row. Uh, but all around, a good performance from us round one. And now for our long-awaited workhorse of the week. And round one, it goes to Paul Gallon, uh, the inspirational shark skipper. Difficult circumstances during the week leading into round one for the Sharkies, but uh, Gal's done it again. Uh, I think it was 198 metres and 30-odd tackles. Um, so a very, very strong performance from Gal considering what had happened at the Sharks and what is continuing to happen there. Our workhorse for the week for round two is another forward. No surprises there. Uh, Chuck Watmau, Anthony Watmau. Um, great running game, defensively very strong. Uh, a 50 metre try, shades of, shades of high marsh back in the day actually. I think it was 1999 or 2000. Scooped the ball up from dummy half, scooted, uh, would have been 50, 60, maybe 70 metres. Uh, out sprinted Mark Gasnier, Paul McGregor and uh, slid under the sticks or towards the edge of the near the corner post, but anyway, it was a try. Um, but there's his workhorse for round two, Anthony Watmau. Uh, very good performance and well deserved for those two early on winners. Uh, round two was a bit of a different story for the Pertec Parramatta Reels. Came up against an, uh, a determined Bulldog side at ANZ Stadium. I thought our boys played reasonably well. Um, we had our chances in the second half. No points scored in the second half, which was which is quite weird actually for today's game. But um, we had our opportunities. Chrissy played well. But uh, the, the dogs had obviously done their homework on him and understood that he was going to step off his right foot back on the inside or his left foot, and their the Bulldogs forwards handled him quite well. Hainsey, I thought, um, and he's even said himself, could have actually taken the game by the scruff of the throat, but um, wasn't able to do so. Fair bit of pressure on Hainsey this year, actually, especially leading into this weekend's game against the, the Tigers on Friday night. No reigning mature for the Pertec Parramatta Reels, which is unfortunate. So a fair bit of responsibility goes on the Hainsey's shoulder, but um, another year on, he's a lot more mature and I'm sure he's up to the challenge. So wishing the boys all the best and go the Pertec Parramatta Eels.